Why is it always the people who say that they don't like drama that start the drama? Why is it always those people? Why is it always the ones that you think are capable of not starting it? that always end up being the ones that start it. It is my belief that most people generally want to see a positive outcome for Luna Classic. That most people have differing beliefs on how we get there. But we just witnessed an attack on people. And I'm going to break this down for you. And uh, I'm going to let you make the decision on what you think. Okay, uh, let's start it off. First of all, you guys were just notified a few hours ago about this video, and it is from Jay over at Happy Caddy Crypto, and it says, all right, enough is enough. Oh my God, it's happening to Terra Classic again, but don't fall victim to it. Now, I'm going to encourage you to go watch this video. I'm going to encourage you, if you have already watched it, you don't have to watch it again, but he makes some allegations first that Vegas has gone over to um, coin market cap and changed some of the links. And I believe he's referring to this link right here to a website. That website is terraclassic.co.uk and it contains a white paper and uh, it uh, it really doesn't, it's a nondescript, you know, easy to, to maintain and create sort of website. And uh, let me just say this, uh, there are 200 projects in the top 200. The only one without a website, Terra Luna Classic. So um, if you don't like centralization and you like decentralization, there are multiple decentralized projects that are out here. They all have websites. We don't even have a website. So just remember that, okay? Now, um, the issue and concern here is that Vegas just non-discriminately without going to you, at you, the, the voting people. He didn't come to you for a vote at all. Shame on you, Vegas. Or was it even Vegas? It wasn't. Uh, I've been through this for the last two hours. Uh, so we've got some clarification that uh, it seems like, and I'm not sure if it's meant to be this way or not, but Jay, Happy Caddy Crypto, is being very deceptive to you right now. And I don't know the reason why. I don't know what's going on. But it was not Vegas that made that change. And by the way, this is not coming from Vegas. I did speak to Vegas. Vegas, not me. I have no idea. Uh, could have been one of my assistants. Could have been any number of people. There were a few more people. So then I spoke to the other person that it could be. And his name is Tech. And I said, Tech, was this you? And guess what he said? Nah, bro, wasn't me. So then we start to dig in. And guess what I get? I get a nice little update here from Mr. Diamond Hands, who reached out to Terraform Labs. Terraform Labs told me that they made changes to Coin Market Cap, and it needs to be updated on their side. So it's confirmed. TFL made these changes, not Tech, but he got the ball rolling. Now, Tech was just looking to see if changes could be made. There was no changes uh, in in this. Terraform Labs went out, so. When Jay tells you Vegas no, Vegas Morph is the person that's doing it, that's deceptive. That's not true. Um, Jay didn't do his research, and Jay is not paying attention or is asleep at the wheel or something like that. I don't know why he's making allegations that are simply untrue and unfounded. Vegas had nothing to do with this. Tech was reaching out to ask what needed to be done in order to get updates, and Terraform Labs themselves went ahead and made updates to Coin Market Cap. So, um, on behalf of everybody, Jay, I think you owe Vegas an apology and some other people probably an apology because this became a rant on centralization and the fact that we want to be decentralized and that the, the goal here is to be cent decentralized. Um, and, and, and if there was no centralization that would be tolerated or allowed or, you know, whatever the, whatever the case may be. And not only that, not only that, Vegas should be punished for something he didn't even do. Vegas, what are you going to do, spank him? I mean, is that, what we're, is that where we're at right now? We're spanking people uh, because they didn't do what you wanted them to do? Um, seems a little weird, but maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe uh, when when we get when when attacks are being rendered at almost everybody uh, from somebody who is one, by by um, uh, by voting power one of the more uh, centralized validators 
because that is a consolidation of power. Um, there's no cap or, or, or anything, so uh, I, I, I don't know why one of the highest ranking, thus most centralized, of validators is having a problem with it. But not only did he have a problem with that, he had a problem with the spirit of decentralization. Not decentralization, the spirit of decentralization. Now look, I've told you before, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord too. And I'm not really a fan of it. But there's no law or rule that says that that can't happen. There's nothing that we have in place that says that that cannot happen. That he's attacking the spirit of decentralization. Somebody with all the with with a large amount of power. And to, to be fair, I don't even know where Jay gets his his validator from. I don't know if he he has his own validator or if he rents from all nodes. If he rents from all nodes, he's the most centralized person in this entire ecosystem because all nodes is the most centralized power in this ecosystem. And listen, you can all say, well, yeah, but it's a benign sort of thing. They're just leasing it out to all nodes. You, uh, they're just leasing it out to people. Uh, you don't have to vote the way that you want them to vote. Yeah, not now, uh, but that could change when it's time for a change and you don't know that that is or is not the case. You have no idea what goes on behind closed doors. So, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying that it is or is not. I'm saying you don't know. We don't have any idea how this validator is working out. And if he's leasing it from all nodes, welcome to centralization, bro. But anyway, uh, he wants to attack Rex YZ. He wants to attack Vegas Morph. He wants to attack Hexagon. He wants to attack anybody who um, who, who affects, I, I don't know if it's his bottom line. I, you know, I don't know what the, the, the whole purpose, other than the decentralization. If there's a purity in decentralization, um, okay, sure. I mean, enjoy that. Um, there is a, a path forward for all of this, but, um, you know, we're in crypto. Uh, crypto it, 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 at, its, at its core is really buying and selling tokens. Uh, the tokens have structure, they have function, they have use. Uh, Terra Luna Classic was meant really uh, as a replacement, an upgraded version of Bitcoin when it initially launched, but it's a ghost zombie chain that was brought back to life by a whole bunch of people working together to make that happen. And now that it's springing back to life, uh, we've got drama and the drama is coming from the people who are uh, opposed to the drama? I, I, I really don't get what's going on. So uh, let's continue to break a little bit of this down though, because guess what? Uh, as expected, we have started to climb and climb and climb again. It looks like the markets are continuing. Now listen, uh, I think I told you before, and if I didn't tell you, then I should tell you now. Very, very important. Uh, China is expected to do some more quantitative easing, uh, and we're going to get that announcement very, very soon. I think this market is about to blow up, and if it does, Luna Classic uh, to the moon. So, um, but in the meantime, I mean, you know, maybe we should be finding out uh, why uh, Jay Happy Caddy Crypto is casting these aspersions on people for stuff that didn't even really happen or that nobody actually really did. Um, if you're going to attack people. Attack people with the data in hand. Don't attack people uh, while you're just wildly guessing what something is. Or, in the true spirit of decentralization, uh, do whatever it is that you want to do. But some of you guys are validating with a guy who's attacking other members of this community and other validators. You should validate. You should delegate to people whose vision aligns with your vision. If you're watching me today and you're saying, yeah, well, he did that, but the spirit of what he said is right, continue validating. Um, even though he's attacking somebody or, anybody, or he's attacking people who didn't really do anything. Uh, and if that is a problem for you, delegate to somebody else reduce that power structure because obviously having too much voting power might be representative of a problem um you know you're not the protector of this place you're just one of the voices out here so um do what you guys want to do with that information but just know that i think it was very deceptive uh, i think that it was wrong-headed and the amount of decentralization, the, the full, you know, we'll, we'll fundamentally disagree on a lot of that because, like I said before, there's 200, top 200 cryptos, because duh, and only one of them doesn't have a website. And do you know what that is? 
it's Luna Classic. So congratulations on your decentralization. You're doing a bang up job. By the way, uh, in the last two years, price still down. So uh, nothing we've done following this, it's gotta be pure decentralization path forward, has done anything for price action. So uh, maybe, just maybe, we should be considering um, looking at some kind of steerage committee or something along those lines because just wandering around aimlessly and listlessly ain't doing much. Uh, I still think we're going to have an explosive move. I still think it's going to blow up, but uh, it's going to take everybody working together and it's going to take the people who are working together uh, to stop attacking one another, uh, put on the big boy shoes. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to keep that to yourself and stop crying about stuff that wasn't true anyway. Anyway, that's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.